And it's Virgo, the Hermit. This could turn into be a week of deep self-reflection, although I know many of us may already be in that mindset right now. But what I'm getting with the Hermit here is that there could be some things that come to view that you're finally able to understand. Or for some of you, you're gaining access to a deeper level of something. I know this is a message for like today, but this I feel like, especially with Virgo, with the moon being in Virgo, this is a message that could probably carry out throughout the week. I just heard getting deeper access to something. Hello everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. So, this is going to be your general energy reading for your day, for your Monday, November 11th. Oh, no. Wow. I'm jumping to 11-11 already. I mean, it is a 1-1-1 day, 11-1, but anyway, it is November 1st. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope you had a wonderful weekend given the energies. A number of you did reach out to mention that uh, shit actually did pop off this weekend. And while I'm sorry to hear that, at the same time, um, I'm glad that who whoever did mention that things popped off as predicted, um, I'm glad that we were able to get that warning, you know, and that you guys were able to handle it well, I did just hear handle it perfectly. I don't know how you think or how you feel it went, but the general consensus here on behalf of spirit or on behalf of the universe, or at least the guidance that was given, is that the situation was handled quite well. So kudos to you. I will, I will also say that um, there was, I mean, I, I've been doing morning coffee. I've been... Um, premiering it and then sitting here and watching it with you guys for whomever is, watches it live. So if you want to watch it live, I mean, it's not like I'm doing it actually live at that point. It's recorded. But if you want to watch it all together, watch the premiere. Yeah. Um, but we all were kind of sitting there watching this reading, listening to what was going on. And I'm the one that channeled the energy. And I was still like, we were all like, yo, I'm getting pissed off just watching this. And I knew exactly what was in the reading and it was still pissing me off What rewatching it. <laughs> so there you go. Um, I do want to ask some of you guys, and maybe I'll ask this also in a poll so that potentially more people can have access to it, but I want to keep premiering things and I'm trying to play with the optimal time. Um, according to the analytics for YouTube, uh, the audience here is most of you are up and about or at least are on YouTube around 11 a.m. I've been kind of going with 10 a.m. but maybe 11 is better. I don't know. You guys let me know. Let me know down in the comment section below. I'm also, if I remember, I'm going to try to put a poll up in the community tab so everybody has an access, has a chance to, uh, to, to vote on it even if they don't necessarily watch Morning Coffee. Yeah. Or at least th this episode of Morning Coffee. Okay. Cool. So let's talk about the moon briefly. The moon, it moves into Virgo today. It will have, by the time you're watching this, the moon will already have been sh shifted into Virgo. Um, so, and it's going to be in Virgo for the next four days. It doesn't go into, um, into Libra, I think until like Friday. So or Thursday or Friday, something like that. I don't remember now, but um, this potentially could be a little bit of a difficult week just on the subconscious level. The moon represents your subconscious uh, and Virgo is a pretty perfectionistic energy. So depending on your relation, your personal relationship to Virgo or with Virgo energy, this may actually be really easy, really beneficial, really flowy for you. Or it, what I just heard was it may be a week of setbacks, but it's just that it seems like it's a setback. Um, with this perfectionistic attitude or at least environment that Virgo provides, there is 
a propensity towards sinking into some a, a disheveled state, we'll say, just because of the weight or the gravity of what's coming into your mind or what's coming into focus or what's happening for you. Um, that could drag you down a little bit. But what Spirit is really trying to reinforce here or reiterate is the fact that this is not meant to break you down so that you feel like you're less than a human being, 444 four, four on the counter. It's more about showing you ways that you could potentially shape up, improve your process, improve your routines, um, your health, and like the physical health of your body may be... Uh, in the forefront of the mind for some of you just because of Virgo um, but again don't let that get you down spirit is just it keeps saying don't allow that to really bog you down just keep moving forward slow and steady wins the race take things one step at a time one moment at a time one I don't know one instance one piece at a time you don't have to handle you don't have to tackle everything right away or all at once and you definitely don't have to find a resolution to things immediately okay so then don't, don't let don't let any pressure surrounding that really push you towards being overly perfectionistic okay all right cool let's get into the cards now and we'll see what we've got for the collective for today yeah here we go Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representation of the energies in terms of the situations, situationships, romances, relationships, circumstances, and places in which we all need it the most. Thank you so very much, Spirit. All right, guys, let's get into this five shuffles for the collective. Yeah, this is one. This is two. Three. Four, and five. All right, y'all. Let's see what we've got for the collective today, yeah? For your Monday, November 11th. What messages do we have for the collective today, please, Spirit? Okay. All right. Messages for the collective today, please, Spirit. All right, well, there are only two cards here that have come out, and only one of them has fallen face up, and it's Virgo, the Hermit. This could uh, this could turn into be a week of um, deep self-reflection, although I know many of us may already be in that mindset right now, but what I'm getting with the Hermit here is that uh, there could be some things that come to view that you're finally able to understand. That's what I'm hearing. Or for some of you, you're gaining access to a deeper level of something. I just get this feeling of, you know, the, the hermit represents um, self-reflection, uh, self-awareness, you know, walking the hermit's path, um, shining your inner light or finding more of your inner light and clearing it up unblocking it so that it can shine forward and for many of us i know this is a message for like today but this i feel like especially with virgo with the moon being in virgo this is a message that could probably carry out throughout the week but i feel like there's an energy of getting i just heard getting deeper access to something finally understanding for some of us okay 
and being able to heal that more than you have before. At least the potential is there. Overall energy is the two of wands. All right. Uh -huh. uh, I just heard directional flow. There's a new, there's possibly a new direction that could come up for you. And also this could be translating to or relating to what happened over the weekend. Right. So for those of you who found some things out over the weekend, whether this is about other people or just about yourself. However, I feel like regardless as to whether it involved other people or not, which most likely it did. It's still a point of reference or a point of view that you can hold on to to get a deeper understanding for yourself. And this is exactly what I was saying on Friday. You know, we had the moon in Leo all weekend. It was Halloween weekend. There were probably lots of festivities and celebrations and going on, but the moon being in Leo really helped to drive the ego a little bit more. Um, but with things that have been found out, now over the course of this week, like I said, Monday morning, moon gets into Virgo, boop, reality check, right? But now you get to take this process further. Now you actually get to decide how it is you want to move forward based on what it is about your feelings or based on what, how it is you're feeling about the situation, what this brings up for you. Um, I am getting a sense of emotional maturity with the Queen of Cups, which is good. Underneath the Queen of Cups, and this is all at the bottom of the deck, underneath the Queen of Cups is, wow, is uh, strength to the Two of Pentacles, to death, to the world. To the tower okay so there are some things that could really be changing okay um, keeping uh, keeping your ego in check uh, working in tandem with your ego is definitely what I'm feeling here between strength and the two of Pentacles but working to keep your ego in check and finding or promoting a sense of balance here balancing things out checks and balances weighing things what is heavy and what is lighter and whatever is heavy you get to drop let go of transformation death to the world to the tower okay so there could be some sudden sudden endings here like i said this last weekend could really that could really have um presented an opportunity for certain breakups or certain reductions in alliances maybe or the complete shattering of an alliance the tower, but with that comes a brand new reality, a new emotional a new emotional reality. Page of Cups. Also, there could be some sort of reconciliations that may happen or may want to happen. I don't know if you're really going to entertain that too much. Underneath that is the chariot. So either way, you guys, I feel like you're going to be moving forward strongly, regardless as to what ever may have transpired. I did just hear checks and balances again. So maybe whatever it is you experienced over the weekend has helped you put things into greater focus for you so that you can really drive forward in a much more balanced and harmonious way with that chariot energy. Okay. Now there's one last card that has come out here on the table. It's fallen face down. So to me, those are energies underneath the surface. The four of wands. But this... Okay, so this stability, this union, this emotional, not emotional, this energetic, spiritual, creative maybe stability here feels very personal. It really does not feel like it involves anybody else. So the choices that you're making moving forward to either today or this week are very much from your own center, from your own base, from your own sense of grounding. I don't feel like anyone else is involved in this choice or this decision in how to move forward given the circumstances that have already transpired. Um, and this definitely comes from your sense of inner, inner peace and inner self-awareness. This, this literally, feel, whatever direction you're moving in at this point, literally feels like it is all you here. Even though, even though there are other people that may be involved in your life or may you may have responsibilities towards, you may be responsible, responsible for, or you may have made some sort of allegiance or, or agreement or whatever with others, whomever, it doesn't matter. It feels like whatever is happening from this moment on, I don't know how long it will be, but it feels like whatever is happening at this moment 
is something, is a decision that you are making for yourself, is a dissection, that, a decision in terms of a direction that you want to move for yourself or you want to move in for yourself. This chariot energy feels like a very solitary thing. Your choice and your choice only, okay? And it's coming, and your ability to make this choice is coming from your own personal sense of stability, groundedness in who you are, all right? Great, let's move forward. Ha, <laughs> 444 four, four on the counter. All right, I'm gonna get some clarity. We're gonna go with five shuffles, yes? One. Two. Three. Four. And five. All righty. Let's start with the hermit, yeah? Some clarity on the hermit here. Now, uh, already at the bottom of the deck, you do have the Eight of Swords. So what it seems to have been that's happened here is, again, is helping you to break free from some sort of com uh, imprisonment. It's helping you break free from something, but that comes from a deep connection to yourself, deep connection to source. I, I, I'm getting this energy of something happened recently, whether it was this past weekend or, excuse me, or it's been happening over an extended amount of time, but your way out of this is through self-reflection, period, okay? And from your sense of grounding, your sense of security within yourself. Let's look at the hermit. What's the hermit for the collective, please, spirit? Anything else? The Hermit. What's the Hermit for the Collective? I keep, I say this all the time, and I almost feel like this message is <laughs> kind of worn out, but what you have clarifying the Hermit is the Two of Wands again, right, with the Six of Pentacles. There is another card that's fallen face down. Its energy is underneath the surface. We'll look at that in a second. But this Six of Pentacles energy keeps following us around. And this is the energy that Virgo is bringing forward to us. This is the energy that Virgo, with the stellium that has been in Virgo, that was in Virgo for a number of months, and for the amount of energy that's still going to be in Virgo, I want to say throughout this month, even though um, the moon moves into Libra this week, I, there's still a good amount of energy. Mercury and Mars will still be in, in Virgo. This Virgo energy is helping you to perfect your life or to make certain decisions to start moving you in the direction of greater reciprocity. I say this all the time, but it just keeps coming up for the collective. Six of Pentacles, reciprocity. The balance between give and take. Where are, your, where are you giving your energies to? What are you giving your energies to? What are you putting your energies into? And then what are you receiving in return from that? Overall energy here, clarifying the hermit, the page of wands to justice, man, to the to strength, to the ace of swords, to the three of wands. Somebody, literally, you guys, somebody found something out recently, or there's some sort of clarity that you're, you're receiving, that you're gaining throughout this time period. That is a, wow, you guys, that is allowing you to really realign your path forward. Ace of Swords to the Three of Wands, okay? And there's definitely a level of an ego check here. However, at this point, you guys, I feel like the ego is, we're working in tandem with the ego for the most part. That may not be ideal or optimal at this time, but I feel like we have definitely gotten better at quelling the ego a little bit or at least not allowing it to drive as much as it has in the past. And then, of course, underneath the Three of Wands, there's that Chariot energy again, okay? Really driving forward now let's move on oops did that wrong yes all right so overall energy yes for the hermit i just want to make sure that i re re reiterate 
the page of wands to justice okay there is definitely a change in alignment a change in your tune and a change in the way that you react to people respond to people show up with people this is definitely even for some of you specifically this is definitely a way a, a change in the way that you even approach or interact with your family even if that's just a family of friends colleagues or people that have just been around you for an extended period of time doesn't matter there's a change here in that and that's bringing greater justice into your life and it's going to take you away from people you are going to be no longer energetically vibrant or vibrationally aligned with those people. But don't fret because that is bringing justice into your life. Yes, however it is you change your focus, however it is you change your tune or your view or the way that you identify or the way that you show up, it's bringing justice into your life. It is divinely guided, I'm hearing, okay? So follow through with that. You have one last card here, clarifying the hermit. It has fallen face down, so it's energy is underneath the surface. Temperance. And you know what's interesting, you guys? Uh, temperance is balance. Temperance is alchemy. Temperance is harmonization. And just because you're working on harmonizing, it doesn't mean that you're going to be available to all of the people around you that you once surrounded yourself with or once surrounded themselves with you. <laughs> Some people were literally taking your energy and swathing themselves around it or like, um, what is the word? swaddling how do what is that word for when you like when you wrap a baby in a blanket whatever they've literally been encapsulating themselves in your energy Shh, it's time to take that back i just heard <laughs> okay all right let's move oh no last thing i wanted to say is um what i was talking about with co the patreon collective this morning um as i was physically reading through the chart and interpreting things with patreon temperance came out and it's it was the message was that this temperance energy is the overall energy for the week for this virgo energy for this virgo theme that we have this week okay balance even though there's a perfectionistic energy in the air keep in mind that it's all meant to help you facilitate greater balance in your life so just take that perfectionistic energy out, out for what it absolutely is at its core not all the fluff not all the frou-frou not all the embellishment that your ego may want to run away with take it with a grain of salt and use it to allow you to bring greater balance into your life okay harmonization yes virgo is also the type of energy that yes is perfectionistic yes focuses on the details and yes streamlines the process but i'm also feeling like virgo is the type of energy to streamline the process on behalf of everything or everyone okay just keep that in mind all right let's talk about the four of wands then and i'm hearing this is your sense of stability your balance your grounded energy right your sense of self your creative foundation as well what's the four of wands for the collective please do good good Overall energy, we're back to the Eight of Swords, but this is what you're coming out of because uh, two, three cards have come out. One of them has fallen on this pile that is uh, the Hermit, and it is the Page of Pentacles in reverse. So this, to me, is no longer giving, no longer subscribing to a certain process. For some of us, this feels like a situation in which we were trying and trying and trying and not really giving anything back. And so we're retracting that agreement, Page of Pentacles in reverse, because the Four of Wands here is clarified by the Ace of Swords and the, I'm sorry, the Magician and the Queen of Wands. Uh, it's funny that I wanted to say the Ace of Swords there. So whatever it is that you're in alignment with, that you're working on manifesting here, it's very clear to you what it is that you truly want or where it is, at least where it is you, the direction you need to be going in. Um, for some of you, I feel like you're really cultivating this energy of where do I want to go next? What is it that I want to manifest in the next? And it just, it just feels like you are, for, for the most part, you already know, or you have a good foundation to make this happen. All right. 
The Queen of Wands represents your alignment. The magician, the magician represents your ability to use the tools at your disposal to manifest what it is that you want. Okay. And so then with the Eight of Swords here at the bottom of the deck, this is what you're breaking free from. Because whatever it is that you were giving to in the past with this Page of Pentacles in reverse, that has been keeping you stuck. And it's time to set yourself free. It's time to let yourself out of that is what I'm hearing. Yeah. And it could have been from a sense of loyalty. Yes. Yes. You see, at the bottom of the deck here, you have the Eight of Swords. You have the Queen of Pentacles. You have the Empress. You have the Nine of Wands. But then you have the Queen of Swords and then the Six of Cups. And then the Three of Pentacles. Okay. And the Nine of Pentacles. This is you cutting away. So, so let me say this. What was keeping you trapped was a sense of loyalty, was a sense of providing, was a sense of nurturing, was a sense of doing your part doing your part and being abundant, being unconditionally loving, really thriving with or embodying that empress energy and persevering even though things weren't necessarily going your way or the way that you would, would like or were not reciprocal. It's time to cut that out. Queen of Swords to the Six of Cups, cutting out the past. And this is all in service of greater self-mastery and just greater happiness. Three of Pentacles to the Nine of Swords to the Six of Swords to the King of Cups. King of Cups, Five of Swords, and the Hanged Man to the Five of Wands. So this is you being emotionally mature to walk away from the battle, right? That no longer serves you, Five of Swords. Because of your change in perspective on maybe the differing of opinion or the just, the discrepancies or the this, that's, and the what ifs, the if, ands, or the buts and all that stuff. No. No, we're not, we're not giving into that any longer. Queen of Swords to the Six of Cups, cutting out the past, okay? Yeah, cool. All right, kids, let's close this out and get some closing oracle guidance for us. We're going to get that from the Crystal Mandala deck, yes? Excellent. Five shuffles here. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, y'all. Closing Oracle guidance. Excellent. I like this. Card number 36. Ascended Master Mataji and Crimson Cuprite. Relief and repair. And it's funny, you guys, because even though on the surface it doesn't look or feel like this, or at least it may not, this Virgo energy, this attention to detail on your subconscious with the moon moving through Virgo, the attention to detail and the subsequent information, knowledge, plan of action, point of view, direction that you that you end up moving in because of it, it's all meant to bring you relief through repair. If you want, if you're really looking for an energy to help you diagnose something and put together a plan of action for you to repair it, it's Virgo, okay? Let's give credit where credit is due. Virgo may be a little bit of a, a, a sour puss or a sour point, okay? She may be a little bit of vinegar, but that vinegar is real good for your system, okay? That, real, that, that vinegar is real good for your system. You know, get a shot of apple cider vinegar in the morning with a fresh glass of water, man, that will supercharge your gut. And your gut is the center of your health. One of the main centers of the health and wellness of your body. And so it may not necessarily taste good, even though I love, I love vinegar and I especially love apple cider vinegar. So I don't mind that shot of vinegar in my water, but even though it may not taste good, it's doing your body good, right? Relief and repair. Oh, there we go. Alrighty, kids. 
we bring you the blessing of relief and repair. Our warmth and nurturing will restore and rebalance your body, mind, and soul when the light of spirit burns too brightly. Spiritual light is like the light of the sun. It brings life and joy, but too much can burn. If that happens to you, you will feel overwhelmed, overheated, overexcited, or overstretched mentally, physically, or emotionally. We will help you recover and increase your ability to be exposed to spiritual light again in the future without becoming overheated, or I'm sorry, overloaded or burnt out. We ask you to soften and relax into our rich red energy now, which nurtures you in with the cooling, restorative life force of the Earth Mother. We shall help you naturally discharge excess energy whilst we revive, strengthen, and fortify you with our nourishing grace. So pay very close attention to any of the situations or circumstances that really drain you, that really drain you, okay? I'm hearing those are things that you're meant to be letting go of because it's not in service to you or of anymore. And it's I'm hearing it also in some cases or just generally, it's not in service to the collective any longer. Even if there are, or even though there are people in your life that may be boldly, I'm hearing, holding on to the circumstances from the past, that doesn't mean that you have to do the same. That doesn't mean that you can't let go and free yourself from that drama, free yourself from that cycle, okay? Excellent. I am going to leave it there. I love you all so very much. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yes? Beauty must. Take care. Bye. <laughs>